Hello and welcome back to another video. I hope you are all doing well. I do apologise if you can hear noises in the background. Sam has arrived back home from work and we are going to start panelling. So I've actually got something exciting to show you. I'm not so sure how much we're going to be able to get done this evening, but we're going to make a start now and see how far we get. And also we have ordered the stairs finally. So I think we're also going to take that apart as well, which is going to be a little bit dangerous because we are going to be without um stair what do you call them the stair posts posts the inner bits i'll show you in a second anyway because i can't think of the correct word at this moment in time but yeah i better go because i can hear that he's started so i'll take you along with me show you what we managed to get done this evening before we get started this Hi is fans, what you've not seen a lot of me recently <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that this is what the staircase currently looks like at the moment. So we are going to be taking out these spindles. That's the correct word I was looking for. So yeah, all of this is going to be taken out. We are going to be keeping the posts in place. These tops are going to be changed and the banister is going to get changed as well. And then this part here is also going to come off and this bit is going to be replaced. But this bit is going to stay as it is. So once all the spindles have been removed, it just allows me to be able to get in there um, with the, what's it called? The sander. Um, and yeah, we're going to take these spindles out as well. Um, and I'm not 100% sure how Oscar and Rosie are going to find it. So... We may have to try and board it off or do something with it so that they're not tempted to jump through the gaps, basically. currently half past four and I can't believe how dark it's getting outside it's ridiculous I think this is the first time that I've noticed it get dark at this time and it's so miserable I can't stand it so it does feel a lot later than what it is I've had such a busy day trying to sort of catch up on work and Sam has gone away for the weekend so I am totally on my own so me oscar and rosie are just gonna have a bit of a chilled one i think but that does mean that house renovation tomorrow um is gonna be at an all-time low we're not gonna do anything in the house obviously because sam's not here and he needs to be here to delegate all his work to me so i think on sunday potentially in the afternoon when he's back we might carry on with some of the work that we stopped doing last night, which I will show you in a second. Um, but yeah, I've got my mum coming over this evening, which will be really lovely. She's actually staying for the night, so I'm not on my own tonight. Not that I can't fend for myself, but it's nice to have a bit of company. And then tomorrow night, I'll be totally on my own. I think I'll just end up having a pizza or something like that and just chilling out before the chaos begins again on sunday afternoon um but yeah we managed to get quite a lot done out there so i am super pleased with the progress that we've made and i didn't realize that sam was actually going to take the banister apart as well so the stairs are looking very bare and very dangerous as well because we've not got a handrail on the other side of the wall so yeah i'll just stop rambling and actually show you what we've done um but as you can see it is rather 
empty here um like i said yesterday this is going to stay in place um and we've managed to kind of pull it out with very minimal damage which is good um but yeah that's all that we've done on the stairs and at the top of the stairs as well because we haven't got our lights fitted up here it's probably going to look a bit dark but yeah same again here very minimal damage which is brilliant and then on this side here same again and then with regards to the panelling, as you can see, Sam has done a square underneath here, but I have told him that I think I want him to do one at least on this edge here. And then obviously he's drawn out here where you can see where we're going to be putting them on those two. And then we're going to have two going across here. And I'm trying to work out how many I want up the stairs. Sam keeps laughing at me because I'm so precise with what I want, but at the same time, I don't know what I want. So I don't want too many um, rectangles going up the stairs. It looks too cluttered, but at the same time, I also don't want two really long rectangles. So yeah, I think I've made my mind up and I'm gonna go for three. Um, so I'm sure we'll get that drawn on at some point um, soon so we can see what that looks like. But then over here, how cute does this look? Can't believe the difference it's made just putting some mouldings on the wall. But yeah, this is the kind of look that we're going for. Um, and I kind of wanted him to fill as much as we could in. I mean, if it's any smaller than this of a gap, then I don't think we'll fill it. But I did think it would have looked odd without it. So yeah, I'm pleased that he's managed to get that done. And then last minute decision in the porch. I've decided to go for similar panelling. Oh look, Sam shoved his golf bag in here. And shoes, of course. Um, but yeah, I've decided to go for the same out here as to what we've got in here. I wasn't 100% sure what I wanted to do, but this is what we've gone for. And luckily we still had literally this and the tiniest bit extra left of the dado rail. So it worked out perfectly. So yeah, in here, I think we're gonna have sort of two, two hooks here for when guests come. Um, they can kind of put their coats there and then I'm gonna have some type of um, bench or stool here. So anybody that wants to sit down and take their shoes on and off, then they can do here. So yeah, really pleased with this. But I'm not 100% sure on colour wise. So now I've confirmed obviously the panelling in here. I'm not sure if to go for the same colour above and below the panelling or whether to go different. Um, in the main bedroom, if you watched my previous videos, you'll know that I've got white on the bottom here and colour on the top. But I am very cautious that this is an area where shoes are going to be. So. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to go for in here and also I feel like I want to go a totally different colour um, to what's going to be in the hallway um, but I know what I'm like. I just pick neutral for absolutely everything because then you can kind of accessorise it with darker colours. Um, so yeah, I'm not 100% sure yet. But I'm going to put the camera down here and actually just spend the weekend enjoying myself and I will check in with you on Sunday where hopefully we will have some more panelling done. Okay, so please do ignore the state of me. I am aware I look awful with my hair scraped back like this but I've got the sun shining straight on my face and there's no better feeling than having a bit of chillier weather with sunshine so yeah I'm trying to make the most of that but yeah sorry the reason why I came on is because I put some samples um up in the porch for what color we want to go for in there so I think think I want to go for a totally different colour to what we're having in here. Obviously I've just decided to go neutral everywhere but I know in the downstairs toilet I want to go like a green sort of colour so I've managed to find some samples which I collected um, a couple of months ago and I have brought it into here to see what I think. Now I'm not 100% sure if I do want to go green in here or whether I just want to keep it quite neutral. I think the colour of the door and the window that you can see here is throwing me off slightly. Even though this is a gate grey, it does have a slight green undertone to it. And when it's up against these samples I've got on here, it does make it look really green. So I don't want anything that's gonna clash with this colour. Um, but at the same time, Am I going to regret not going sort of a daring colour? 
I don't know but as I said in my previous video for those that don't know I think I might paint the ceiling and the walls in the same colour what myself and Sam have decided to do is paint this bit here white I think and then yeah go colour everywhere else and even take it down onto the skirting boards um, so in here will look totally different to the rest of the house um, because basically skirting boards are all white in the rest of the house and will be white so in here will look quite different but if I keep it quite neutral is it just gonna pretty much look the same as the rest of the house and is it gonna be weird having the skirting painted in here and not in there I don't know there's so many questions going on in my head right now but yeah I'm not 100% sure on the greens I don't know whether I suppose if I went a bit darker then it wouldn't clash so much but I'll have to see what Sam says when he gets back and these two are just some of the colours that I found um, in my sort of like sample box but I think I might see if I can find some other samples to bring in here to kind of compare it against this because this is the only thing that I'm actually bothered about something that's going to look nice with the door and the frame um, but yeah Oscar has had his hair cut and he looks totally different. I took him this morning to, to get it all chopped off. And yeah, the groomer, bless her, has had to even kind of shave all of his like fur off of his ears. Take it right back. Um, normally she kind of leaves it as it is. But yeah, it was so matted. So I do feel super bad. But you are nice and fresh now. So hopefully when it grows back, it will grow back all nice and lovely. Um, and it means that when I take him out for a walk, he's not going to get anything stuck in his paws as well because his feet were so long. You was getting leaves and dirt and all sorts stuck in them, weren't you? So now you look so much better, all ready for Christmas. Your last cut before then. myself and Sam are off to B&Q so I'm really looking forward to picking out the paint for the porch. Now after much decision last night we decided that green was not the way to go in here. I think with the colour of the door and the window um, it doesn't look quite right so these paint samples here and I've taken off the ones around there are just not what, we, what we're going for. So in the end we've decided to go for this mole's breath which is here um, which I'm hoping is going to look really nice in here. I think it will definitely complement this a little bit better and I think um, the darker colours in here will hopefully um, look quite nice. I mean we are just taking a gamble and just getting a big paint pot um, but because it's such a small area if it doesn't look great then we can always um, change it. It's not the end of the world. It's not like we've got furniture in there that we need to move around and stuff. So yeah, we've decided on that colour and I'm not changing my mind from now up until we go to B&Q. Um, and we've got to pick up some undercoat and gloss for like the stairs and stuff. And I'm going to try and persuade Sam to go to Home Sense with me because all of the Christmas stuff are in and I just want to pick up some nice candles and potentially put a couple of little bits in the bedroom. I would like to sort of update the decor a tiny little bit. I do like to move things around here and there and I do find that our bedroom is quite sort of plain. So yeah, hopefully I'll manage to find some nice stuff in there and um, we're also gonna try and continue on with this paneling. I'll just give you a quick overview of what we managed to get done last night. I say we, Sam. <laughs> um, so he's got all of the paneling done across here and that bit there. I decided not to put anything here. I think it's just pointless. It's a bit too small of a space to put anything on that side. Same goes for that side. I think because we're leaving both sides plain, it looks okay. Obviously this bit here is all done, these two are done. I think today's task is to get the panelling up the stairs done, which is obviously going to be the hardest part. And then we also managed to get done two panels here and we've drawn on 
for one panel to go there, a panel to go there, two to go there. Sam has put one here. We had a little bit left over last night, so we just decided to do this one, and then obviously this one here. So there has been a lot of progress made, it's starting to come together really nicely now. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna get that done today. Um, and also getting all the stuff that we need for the hallway means that I think we've got everything now. We are having the staircase delivered on Friday of next week. We're currently on Tuesday and I feel like it's slowly coming together, which is great. The face of a happy man that's almost done. The panelling is totally finished and I'm super happy with how it looks. Um, so I'll just give you a brief overview of what it all looks like. Everywhere is obviously still a massive mess, but the panelling up the stairs went to plan. It wasn't actually as bad as Sam originally thought. So yeah, really pleased with that. And then coming upstairs, all of the panelling up and around here has been done as well. So Sam is so pleased to have got that done now and um, the plan over the next couple of days, I believe is, oh gosh, that sun, I'm not complaining, but wow, that is bright. Um, yeah, sorry, the plan for the next couple of days, I think is to get the window up there all cleaned up and tidied. Same with downstairs, around the window and door, that all needs sort of like, scraping off where the plastering work has been and also just clearing it all up ready for the painting which fingers crossed we will be able to start over the next few days which would be great sorry oscar is demanding attention as always i've got rosie here causing mischief and all that there i've been through all of my summer stuff to try and get rid of it um, and luckily one of those charity bags came through the post. So tomorrow morning I'll get that outside and just clear out a whole load of stuff. Apologies, I've literally had to wait five, 10 minutes for Oscar and Rosie to fully settle down, which seems to be as standard, but Oscar is in front of me and Rosie is literally at the top of the stairs there. So I'm hoping that'll be them like asleep for the rest of the day. I've literally just taken them out for a walk and does anybody else's dogs go crazy when and they come back in. I don't know what it is. I think it might be because it's been quite windy today. I mean, they don't do it every single time and I can't stop them from play fighting and running around with the zoomies because number one, it's funny to watch. And number two, it just ties them out even more, which is even better. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I did a bit of a summer clear out and I feel so much better for it. It was much needed. It's just one of those things on the to-do list that I've been put into the side and put into the side. But yeah, I was due for a big clear out and I've finally got the winter wardrobe all organized now. So that's me set for the colder months. And now that's all done, I can get back to focusing on the house. So like I said, over the next week or so, I think we're going to have all of the paintwork all done. I mean, what day are we on now? We're on Wednesday. So next week, we've got the electrician coming on the Monday. So that's why we wanted to get everything all organized and sorted, ready for when he comes. We did actually pick up the outdoor lights for the side of the house. So it'll be nice to get the outside lights all working because it's so dark now, so early, which is rather sad. Over this next week, there should be a lot of progress happening in the house so there's so much more content obviously to share with you so i do hope that you have enjoyed watching this video and i look forward to seeing you in the next one